Eloise, as I understand it, what you're doing right now is illegal. That is correct, but I'm doing it for a friend. So I, no charges, it's just a favor I'm doing as to a friend. This is how the law states I have to do it right now. Well, now, why is it illegal for you to cut a man's hair when a barbershop can cut a woman's hair? This is what it's all about. I'm cutting his hair, and I can cut it and do it well, and he's very happy with my haircuts. But uh, our laws really are not very clear exactly who can do what, and that's why we're trying to organize to establish exactly what our laws are, why we're abounded, and why this man cannot come to me to get his hair cut if he prefers me. Excuse me a minute, let's ask you, why did you come to a beauty shop to get your hair cut? Because she does a better job. Do barbers tend to cut it too, a little bit too much or something? They're not as particular. <laughs> as the trend of today, the men are coming in with the longer hairstyles. They're really more in our field, and we know it and have been trained in the longer hair. We know how to permanent wave the hair. We know how to style the hair to fit the face because we are dealing in a territory we know. And because we know it and we're more capable, we feel we should be the ones to do it. Uh, comparing your two licenses, uh, do you have to have more training than barbers? Uh, really, our hairdressing training requires 1,500 hours now. And what does the barber? I think around 1,200, something like that. This was passed by the last legislative session. Do you see any reason why they made this kind of a rule? Uh, I really don't. I think it, that my point is they're discriminating against the sex of a man. I'm fighting for the man to have the right to go into any place he should want to and get what done he wants done. And this is what, what it really boils down to, is be fair to the men.